Why, hello there. This is going to be a video tutorial on how to make an in-slide agenda. Sometimes it's called in-slide navigation. Sometimes it's called a roadmap. Basically what it is, is your agenda or your table of contents on every single slide in your presentation. And if you're looking for strategies about why you would use this, how or when it's most appropriate, please check out the link in the description below. And that's going to take you to my course on how to make presentations that the audience will actually enjoy to look at, that they'll absorb the information. But let me give you some examples before we get started. So here's some random presentations I found on SlideShare. And you'll see at the bottom, it says overview, strength, innovate forward. As you move through the presentation, that highlight changes. So they're putting their agenda on every single slide. It doesn't always have to be squares. Sometimes it can be these little arrows. It can be whatever you want, actually. The point is this. Whenever you're in a section, the market section, the market little arrow is highlighted. So your audience always knows where they've been, where they are, and where they're going. It can be any shape you want, any colors you want. It doesn't have to be at the bottom. It can be on the side. And this one. And it can be any color and any shape. But the point is making it easy for your audience to see where they are in the presentation. So let's figure out how to do this. In this sample slide here, I basically just made a couple of different sections so you know what sections we're on. And this will all make sense in a moment. But suppose I'm in a presentation and I have my agenda slide. The first step we need to do is go into View, Master, Slide Master. Boom. So what are we looking at? You see this big slide here? This is saying whatever I do on this big side, it's going to edit every single slide in my template. So all the new slides and all the current slides are going to have the changes that are seen here. So for example, if I found a random shape and I'm going to make a little block here, boom, little block. And I say, uh, background. There, little block that says background. Notice all the other slide layouts also have background. If I remove it, they all go away. If I close the slide master, so this is me editing the back, the template, the behind the scenes, you will see, close master, every single slide in my presentation has that little block. Oh, but wait, you're saying, how come these agenda slides don't have that little block? Oh, dear viewer, they do. I just hid them. I put the picture in front to be fancy because that's the way I roll. Now let's go back to view, master, slide master. I'm going to delete this. Highlight my big one. You always got to highlight the big one. In PowerPoint slide, in PowerPoint, what you do to the big one I'm going to go view, master, slide, master. And I'm going to highlight the big one because in PowerPoint, size matters when you are using the slide master. Because I want to make sure my agenda is on every single slide, right? So I'm going to make a little shape. It can be a circle, a square, a triangle. I cheated a little bit. I made a bunch of shapes here. I'll show you how to do this, but I'm just going to copy the first one that says current. I paste it here. What's the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to duplicate and make a few of them. Spread them out. Here's what I do. I actually duplicate. I, I did about five of them. I take one and I put one on the other extreme of where I want it. It can be up here or it can be down here. It is completely up to you. Then I select all of them. I go into my shape format. I start playing with this alignment. So first I align them all and then I distribute them. And when you distribute horizontally, it's going to take the two extremes and distribute everything evenly between the two extremes. Then I put in all the titles in my agenda, the main sections of my presentation. So let's say I said 
background. I said competitors. What else should we have? Let's go finance or financials. Maybe recommendation. Those are always good, right? And what would a presentation be without a closing? There we go. You notice that what I've done has affected all the templates, all the layouts. If I close my slide master, you will see, boom, there they all are. So when I'm running through my presentation and I start at the very beginning, here's section one, back to my agenda. You don't have to go back to the agenda. I'm just doing this to be clear, section two and section three. But now we have to make sure that when we're in section one, our section one is highlighted. So when we're here, the background is highlighted because everyone knows triangles mean background. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I go back into my slide master. I pick the big one. I'm going to copy this little block. See here, the little block that says background. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to close my master. Okay. I'm going to paste it now. Paste it. And you will see that it went right in its position. That's where it was before. But I have to make this a different color or different in some way. Sometimes I can make this block bigger. I can change the font. I can change the font color. I can make it all capitals. I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just going to change the color. And I think I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little uh, green. Boom. There it is. It's green. Remember, you can make this whatever color you want. I'm making this so it really pops so you can see the change. Now, I made that green. Notice, because the actual, the actual squares are in the template, they're in the background, they're in the masta, I can't do anything. Like I can't, I can't actually select this. I can't select this. See, that's selected. I can move it around. This, no touchy. Can't do anything with it, see? Doesn't do anything. That's because it is in the background. It is in the template itself because I edited it in the master. So I take this copy here and I'm going to line it up. Boom. So it's perfectly placed. Now I copy Commander Control C. I go to the next slide. I paste Commander Control V. I go to the next one, V. That is my background section. Now let's move on to the competitor section. Here I am. If I go Command V, you see it moved it, it is exactly where I placed it before. I'm going to move it into this section, the competitors. Compet. Boom. Now I copy it again. I go to competitor section. I paste it. I go to competitor section. I paste it. Here I am in my third section, the financial section. I paste it. I move over to financials, line it up how I want to. And remember, this can be arrows. It can, I could make the square bigger so I don't have to line it up so it pops even more. You know what I mean? I could make this capital and underline it if you want to like go overboard. <laughs> but let's copy it. Let's just do it, man. Let's go crazy. Boom. I really want them to know. Whoops. Oh, see, I made the little mistake. And this happens all the time. You have to make sure that you don't make any changes once you actually put this in the master because suppose you wanted to add a new section into your presentation that means you got to start this whole process from scratch and i forgot to change competitors to financials so i command c i got to delete this guy boom and boom so you see that is it it's not a fully automated process, but it's a sort of animated process. Excuse me, automated process. Now let's go back to the very top. And I'm going to run my presentation. So here is the presentation. You had your title, and let's say this is your table of contents. This is your agenda. Uh, and I say something like, let's first find out about the background of the company. And here I am in the background section. Then I go back to the agenda. Oh, look at this. I'm in the competitor section. I'm in the financial section. If I removed these little agenda slides, it becomes even more dramatic. 
And just so you know, I'm gonna move these over so you can actually see that we're on different slides. I'm gonna move them over so you can see the movement. I want you to check out my moves, bro. Check out my moves, bro. Look at these moves. So you see where I've moved them all? Boom. This is so you can see that I'm actually transitioning through slides. And by the way, just for funsies, let's add more slides. Look at this, it's already in the template. I'm just gonna add a blank one for fun. Boom. Let's go back up to the very top. Let's run the presentation. And now you see that every time, new slide, new slide, new slide, new section, new section, boom. And that, my friends, is how you add an in-slide navigation, a roadmap, in-slide agenda. I don't know what you call it. I just know that if you do this nicely and you make it kind of clean, it can give your presentations a really professional look. And if you want to know some more tricks and hacks or tactics on how to make slides look appealing that doesn't involve learning the technical of PowerPoint, check out the link below in the description. And it's a link to my class where it's a little kind of tactics-based approach and a scientific-based approach to creating visuals that actually are easy to retain and that people will remember. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. My name is Yvonne. You know, public speaking, presenting, it's literally all I do. This is my website, publicspeakinglab.com. If you wanna reach out to me, go to my website, send me a message, or this is my Instagram and this is my LinkedIn. Reach out to me if you have questions about in-slide agendas or just public speaking or presenting in general. I have an open door policy and I'd love to hear from you. So write me, watch the video many, many times, many happy hours of viewing. Thank you very much. Thanks again for watching the video and reach out anytime.